Hey everybody, it's Brian again. Wanted to show you, looks like we got some friends here in the salad bar LED area that was supposed to be shut down for the summer, but you know, I can't stay away from growing things. Let me go ahead and lift this up and show you. All right, so we've got, let me grab the camera. We've got sweet potatoes that I'm gonna be trying to grow. I've never done this before. I watched a couple videos on YouTube that said, you know, you, you stick the fat end down, put the top of the top out of the water, and it'll grow you slips. Well, it's been a day. I don't see anything yet, so that's okay. <laughs> I guess I'll, I'll keep watching it, and you guys will keep watching with me, because it's gonna be fun to grow those slips, because those slips are gonna be planted into a 20-gallon garbage can that I'm gonna have outside until fall, and then I'm going to bring it indoors and put it in the large grow tent right here with its own light over the top of it and keep it producing. And then after that harvest, I mean, it depends. I guess, you know, if I get the harvest before fall sets in, I'll start seeding a new set because what I wanna do is I wanna take some of those potatoes and create some more slips and then use those slips to grow indoors in the indoor tent all winter so I can see if I can actually produce, you know, 20 to 30 pounds of sweet potatoes while we're in the middle of winter in an indoor grow tent because we'll also be able to eat the greens because sweet potato greens can actually be edible. So they're not like the regular uh, nightshade variety of potato where you're not supposed to eat those greens because they'll make you sick. But a sweet potato, you can actually eat the greens as well as the tuber root, which is the, you know, the tuber is the potato. All right, so anyway, <laughs> I decided to seed some uh, cucumbers to put outdoors when the uh, peas die on all the trellises. So these are the different variants of cucumbers. So it looks like we've got the, uh, the little leaf cucumbers are up. The uh, gherkin, we got one so far. Well, there's two, let's see, there's, there's, there's two, two gherkin. There's another one over there. So they should all be coming up soon. Don't see any of the market more yet, but they're the last to germinate according to the pack. So I'm not too uh, disappointed there. These are some cabbage. This is a January King cabbage. You can see I've got one coming up here, one there, one there. And then we've got another set of January King cabbage back there. So there's one up. I don't see any of the other ones yet. And let's see, we've got I think one or two of these cabbage. These are the, are they all January King? Yeah, they all are January King. That's right, I didn't do the tundra this year. I wanted to do January King. So I got some of these January King seeds from uh, High Mowing Seed. So it looks like I've got one coming up there already. Oh, there's another one. I guess I can see one coming there. So it looks like they're doing okay. So what I've got is I, uh, I took these lights and I turned them on a 24 hour light cycle. So that way they're gonna be pretty much on to get these things seeded and started. And then once they're all sprouted, I'll turn it on to probably a 13 hour light cycle like I normally run on this uh, salad bar LED bench. All right, well that's kind of the update for today on the uh, salad bar LED area, which is not really a salad bar LED anymore. It's more of a winter cabbage production and sweet potato bench. So, all right, I'll talk to you guys again. Bye.